Hi, I'm Sarah Lynn. Welcome to this I Am Changed webcast. This is one video of a series that will help you understand the principles taught in For My Life, a week-long program centered on aligning our lives with God's Word. This is where we work with people who are willing to take the steps to strengthen their relationships with God, themselves, and others, and develop spiritual, emotional, and physical health based on God's Word. Through this program, you'll learn how to come into obedience so that the blessings promised in the Bible will overtake you. What you're about to see next is part of a For My Life teaching. Following this teaching, we have selected resources to offer you, so stay tuned. I want to welcome everyone to this life-changing program called For My Life and this teaching on foundational insights and at Be In Health, we're dedicated to the healing, eradication, and prevention of all spiritual, psychological, and biological disease. We want to offer you knowledge and discernment to help you recover yourself from whatever snare the enemy may have put you in. And we want to help restore what God intended for your life. Our goal is to remove from you everything that is not of God and put in its place everything that is from God. The object of For My Life is to reclaim what God intended for your life. We want to assist you in that journey. Be in Health has several teachers, and our teachers are people just like you. And we do not have supernatural powers here. We are not divine because only God is divine and the, only the Holy Spirit can make something happen. So this week, we know the Holy Spirit's going to be here and he's going to make something happen. Some of the things that you will hear may be new to you. I know when I first came here, I heard a lot of stuff. I said, man, I have never heard that before. I had to kind of sit it on the shelf, you know, coming from a Presbyterian background. Uh, I had to sit that stuff on the shelf and go study it for myself after it was taught to see if those things were true. So we ask you to open your heart to the information presented to you because it is all found in the Bible. We teach in context and harmony of Scripture. So Scripture interprets Scripture. We invite you to be Berean and to check these Scriptures for yourselves. Acts chapter 17, that's Acts chapter 17, verse 11. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the Word with all readiness of mind and search the scriptures daily to see if those things were true. So that's what we want you guys to do. We want you to search it out because every man has to be convinced in his own heart that these things are true. You know, it's a personal journey for all of us. Romans chapter 14, verse 5. That's Romans 14, 5. One man esteemeth one day above another, Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be persuaded in his own mind. So you're going to study these things to see if they are true. We must be reprovable, and we may need to repent to God for something that we have said or thought that was not correct. We can't be teachable if we're teachable, then we are reprovable. Habakkuk chapter 2. I'm going to read you out of Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tablets that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait 
for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You know, if you bump into some things that you need to be working out that are not pleasing to God, uh, we will tell you that that is unrighteousness. God does not honor unrighteousness. So you must decide if you're ready to repent to God. Our benefits are based on the Bible, or excuse me, our beliefs are based on the Bible, not traditions of men. You may have been taught something in your church that may be somewhat different from what you're going to hear this week here and these teachings, Jesus warned us of the leaven of the Pharisees. The Jews often ignored the truth from the Torah. You know what the Torah is, the first five books of the Bible, the writings and the prophets, and sometimes for follow the oral tradition of the Talmud rather than the Word of God. And that can be happening, you know, in the church today. When our theology, when it does not match what the Bible says, we don't change the Bible. Neither should you try to change the Bible to meet your own theology. We change our theology to meet what the Bible says. I had to do a lot of that when I came here. If we show you something in the Scriptures, then you should believe it. That's the only firm foundation we have to stand on is what is written in the Scriptures. This will make you a friend of God and prove to Him that you love Him. John chapter 14, that's John chapter 14, verse 15. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. During the course of these teachings, you may find some things that you don't agree with. I certainly did when I heard these teachings. You don't stop eating fish or chicken just because you find a bone in it. You spit out the bone and you keep eating. Then you can come back later to see if these things are true when you study the Scripture for yourself. Being health teachings represent change as a work of the Holy Spirit from glory to glory, we are being changed into the image in how we think and how we speak and how we act. The basis for the For My Life teachings is the authorized King James version of the Bible. So if you have a King James, you'll be able to read these scriptures right along with me. We use the King James for a foundation with the Strong's Concordance to help us understand the Greek and the Hebrew. Second Timothy, that's 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We hope you enjoyed that sample of the teaching on Foundational Insights. That's just a taste of what we offer in For My Life. We invite you to come to Thomaston, Georgia and join us for this life-changing one-week program. You can register for this program through our website or by calling our registration office at 706-646-2074, extension 291. If you'd like to hear more on how to apply God's Word in your life to bring health, healing, and wholeness, our teaching titled, Why Do We Get Sick?, is just for you. We offer it on CD for $24.99 and on DVD for $29.99. If you're interested in learning more about the healing and prevention of allergies, our teaching titled, Insights into Allergies, does just that. You can get this in book form for $8.99 and on CD for $14.95. Many people have been healed from illnesses and diseases by aligning their lives with God's Word. We encourage you to visit IamChanged.com to view powerful testimonies of people who have been healed and restored after attending the For My Life program. We'd love to hear what God's doing in your life. 
please comment below and let us know what you thought of this teaching. We enjoy reading all your comments. May God bless you on your journey toward His truth.